Hey guys, welcome, Dom here. Last night I put up a post and I said my number one tip, get strong first. So this video is to explain what that is. Now, there are two schools of thought. I'm gonna have my school of thought over here and then there's the rest of us because we are fed a lot of this stuff through marketing and the likes, particularly on social media. And those in Australia at the moment, obviously because we're coming into the warmer weather, the big thing is getting ready for the summer, getting the bikini body, getting ready for the six pack abs, Whatever it is for you, that's up to you. So what we tend to do is we tend to see this. Most people coming off the sidelines, getting back into their health and fitness, whatever it is, tend to do one thing. I need to lose weight. That's their primary focus, weight loss, the number of the scale. Yeah, some of them think about body fat, but really that's the first thing from the end of their mind. They're focusing on that number, getting it down means something to me. So what they tend to do is they'll say, well, right, what's the obvious thing? I see people out there, it's good weather, I'll go out, I'll start to run. And there's nothing wrong with running, but running for me, it's a skill. It's a skill, it's not an activity, it's not an exercise, it's a skill. And what people tend to do is they go out initially, one, two, skip a few, and suddenly they're getting aches and pains in their joints, their ankles, their neck, their back, because they haven't developed the skill. Now, yes, for some, They've gone deep into that and then they've cut and slashed their calories. They're eating the grapefruit diet, the lemon detox, whatever it should be. And those two combinations start to see some things happen. The numbers, they drop. They lose the weight. Cool, I've lost my weight. Yeah, I'm feeling better about myself. But here's the deal. You've probably done two things. you probably lost a stack of water, which this body needs. You dry it out, it's going to look like that shriveled raisin. It ain't going to do you any good. And those of you who are doing running, you may find that that's what happens when you start to cramp up. It's your body's way of telling you, not a good start. Number two, you probably lost muscle. So we see this with extreme weight loss. Muscle is heavier than fat. Yep, rocket science, don't need to say that. You lose muscle. So you drop the two primary things that your body actually needs to get the result that you actually want to sustain. So I talk about playing the long game. Now, the long game for me is get strong. Why? As I focus on the strength, not the number on the scale, yeah, it might mean I'm adding more plates or I'm lifting a heavier dumbbell or whatever it should be. But as I focus on getting stronger, I know that in order to do that, I know I'm going to build muscle. Now, forget the get bulky. I know I'm going to build muscle because with the muscle, the density, the strength, my ligaments, my tendons, my muscle fascia, all of that comes into play. My aches and pains, for the most part, are going to start going away because now I am training, not exercising, those things that have not been active for a long, long time. Building muscle. I'm getting stronger. I'm feeling confident in myself, right? Hey, I may even find that I'm going to go down a collar size. I'm going to go down a belt size. Go figure. You see? That building of the muscle, it's starting the process of burning that excess body fat. And why does it do that? Because muscle is metabolically, big fancy word, but metabolically more demanding. In other words, the more muscle on your body, the more your body has got to feed that from the stored energy to keep it, right? That's what it needs to do. What's that going to do? It's going to burn more fat. You're going to also have to eat. So you might find that by focusing on getting stronger, you might find you go from being hangry all the time and eating crappy, crappy, low calorie, shitty top foods because you're tracking your macros and scanning your barcodes for every morsel that goes into your mouth. And instead, you can actually start to eat like a real human being. You might go from 1,000 calories to 1,500, to 2,000, to 2,500. Hey, you might even be able, like some of those bikini body girls that are getting up on stage, that are small, petite little things, and they're eating 3,000 calories a day, and they don't have a problem with eating that food because they know that what it means. And they're also dropping and cutting weight in bits and pieces. So focus on getting strong. Build the muscle. Add the muscle to your frame. Your body's going to have to work harder to keep it. What's it going to do? It's going to tap into the stores that are in there. And on top of that, yep, you're going to start to drink a little bit more water because you need to hydrate. You need your sodium, your potassium, magnesium, because otherwise you will cramp up. And then the other thing that you will find is you will naturally start to think a little bit more and give a bit more of a crap about the stuff that's in the packet is not really food. 
stuff that's growing in the ground, the stuff that we're harvesting from animals and cannibals, vegan, pescatarian, carnivore, I don't care. But when you start to eat real food that has all the nutrients that we need, never mind the proteins, carbs and fats, all of that will go into the package and as part of us getting strong. It's also to why we say focus on the long game. You can drop, shred, do whatever, smash yourself, kick yourself about in 28 days and get a result, but you're going to bounce back. You're going to be just like a yo-yo. But if you plan long term, you're going to have better results. You're going to feel fitter. You are going to feel stronger. You are going to drop down a little bit in the body size. And maybe then you'll start to move away from all the gimmicky fads, hacks, pills, potion, magic, lotions that you are sold on social media. And do the stuff that between me and you, and I'm 53, has worked for decades. Get strong first. If you don't know how, you don't know where to start, then that's easy. It doesn't have to be me. It might be someone that you can follow, that you can trust, who's been there. Because I've been a ballooned 25 to 30 kilos heavier than where I am. I've also been 10 kilos lighter than where I am. There's no right, there's no wrong. Where I am right here, right now, today, that's where I want to be. But I'm not focusing on the weight on the scale. I'm focusing on getting strong. I'm focusing on building my athleticism because I can still, at a big frame, run 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 Ks. But that's enough about me. What about you? Are you interested in getting strong first? That's it, time for me. Rowers calling, off the my workout. Have a great day. If you want to know more, simply do what you know you need to do. DM me, comment, share this with a friend, and I'll happily love to have a conversation with you about what can I do to help you get strong first.